Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We are going to continue with the topic understanding elementary shapes. Today I am going to explain you about some Max Lab activity. So here I am going to take activity from chapter number 4 that is basic geometrical ideas also. So for these two chapters you can conduct this Max Lab activity. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel like and share my channel and also to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification for my next video. So let us start with the today's activity. Material required some colorful strips. Uh, few are long, few are small. Then triangular uh, colorful triangles. Then black color bindis you can take or small black color circles you can take. Then number cards, letter written with uh, A to uh, 5 or 6 or 7 letters you require, but 2 sets of letters you require. Similarly, number cards also, 2 set of number cards are required. If you want to do this activity in the notebook, then you require glue also. Or otherwise, you can make uh, this in, you can cut these pieces and keep it in one box. In Max Lab, different different five or six sets you can prepare, and then you can ask students to do this activity. You can divide the class in group of four or five students. Every group will do the different activity, and at last they can take a round and find out what the other group has done. So let us start with the activity. The first activity is for line, line segment, and ray. So for this, in a box. You want some number cards, few strips, triangles, and this question should be written in one of the page. Or if students are doing in the notebook, they will make a box in their notebook and write down the answer. So the first one is line segment. So child has to understand what is the line segment. So child will pick up one strip and stick in front of that and give the name AB. So this is the concept for line segment. Now the next one is line. So line we know two arrows are there. So two arrows will be stick or this will be kept beside the uh, line segment and name is given. And similarly ray, ray means one arrow is there. So this way students will arrange on the table if they are doing in the match like activity or if they are doing in the notebook they will stick in their notebook and accordingly they will write down the answer how many fixed point a line segment has how many fixed point a line has a ray has a length is fixed or not they can write down one one example for all the three and extend it in how many direction it means two direction or one direction or it cannot be extend in any of the direction in this way they will write down so we can check their concept by learning by doing or simple activity so i have completed their few topics uh, chapter one knowing our number 16 subtopics chapter two whole numbers eight subtopics chapter three playing with numbers 11 subtopics and chapter 4, basic geometrical ideas with 4 subtopics. Part 1 link is given in the description. Links for the other topics are mentioned in part 1. Next one is triangle DEF. So this material will be given to the students now. They will use these 3 strips to arrange the figure DEF. So they will arrange these 3 strips and these 3 dots or circles or bin this they will put over here and whatever name is given def so they will arrange def so you can change this name it's up to you after arranging this number of sides they will write number of angles number of vertices a triangle has six elements which are these six elements three angles and three sides and interior point a and interior point b so they will arrange like this so this way you can judge their concept for triangles. Now you can define the triangle also which type of triangle you want. If you want equilateral triangle, so same thing this material will be given to the students. They will arrange all the three uh, strips to get equilateral triangle with their name 
and if it is equilateral triangle then what is the measure of each angle everything already you have explained in the class based upon that child will write down there chapter 4 basic geometrical ideas four sub topics are there so you can read this sub topics part 1 link is in the description and link for the other two sub topics are mentioned in part 1 One minute. I want to go back. If you want your uh, equilateral scalene triangle, if you want your isosceles triangle, right angle triangle, so this way you can change the name and you can ask them to arrange in different different types of triangles and you can ask the properties also. Now the next one is rectangle A B C D. So again, this material will be kept in one box. and using this steps child will arrange to get an rectangle with the name everything and now whatever questions are there they will write down the answers for that so number of sides number of angles number of vertices which are the opposite sides which are the parallel sides so like this everything they will write down answers these are the exterior point this is interior point so changing the name is in your hand whatever information you want those type of questions you can write down over here you can change the questions you can add few questions you can delete few questions it's up to you then polygon so again this material is required this questions i have written questions are up to you what type of questions you want to give so using this they will arrange hexagon you can ask them to make pentagon you can ask them to arrange as a heptagon again it your choice it is your choice so child will arrange the steps to get a hexagon then names will be given and based upon that answers will be given so i think everybody likes this activity activity is very easy but very useful to create the proper concept thank you for watching today's video don't forget to like and subscribe my channel please share this video and don't forget to watch my next video